Hi. In this video, I'd like to show you how to fix an error in VS Code if you're working with Java and Maven. So you can see I have a simple Hello World app here. And if I try to run one of these Maven actions, I'm going to see an error. Now, I've set this project up using Maven, and I've chosen the Quick Start uh, template. And everything seems to work fine until I try to do some of these actions. So if I expand here and go to Lifecycle and try to do a clean or a compile, I'm going to have this error pop up. It says, the Maven executable is not found in the path. And so students in my classroom are sometimes mystified about what do I do and why is this occurring? So the first thing you probably thought of and you checked was, do I have the right extensions? And so I do have the right extensions. If I type in Java, I can see that I have the extension pack for Java installed. And if I want to know what the components are, I'm probably going to see something about Maven in there. So if you look through the list, you're going to eventually find something that says, you've got Maven for Java, and you think you're done, and everything's good. So this extension will allow you to build projects using the Maven templates, but for some reason, it doesn't allow you to execute the Maven actions, like I just showed you, with a clean or a compile action. So what we have to do then is install Maven. Now you might think you've already got Maven installed and why doesn't it work? So let's go to the command prompt and see if we can test a few things out. You can, you can see that I already checked to see what version of Java I have. That looks good, I've got version 22. Now if you wanna know if you have Maven, you type in MVN. Now you can just type in the command and you can see it doesn't exist. Or if you want to see what version you are, you type MVN with a hyphen version. Neither one of those works because on my computer, we have not installed Maven, in spite of the fact that I've installed that extension from the uh, VS Code uh, extension libraries. So let's see if we can do this manually. The first thing you have to do is go find this uh, Maven project uh, download. So if I just search for Maven download and hit the Google results, you'll come to this page. So uh, the current version right now is 3.99. This is a separate program from your Java installation. So the Java development kit does not include this Maven. So you've got options to download things and I'm gonna choose the second one called the binary zip archive. So for sure you don't want the source files because that requires you to compile it. So you want either this binary or that binary. And um, I just am used to zip files. So let's go ahead and download this. Okay, let's check the downloads folder and see what happens. So let's go open up this uh, directory and see what's there. So you can see I have a, a Maven 399. It looks like I've downloaded it twice. So what I need to do first is extract it. So you right click, choose extract all. And when you extract it all, you go ahead with this. So the extraction is done. You can see that I'm in the downloads folder and I have a folder called um, 399 bin. I open that up and then I see the actual program. And then inside of there are more program files. So let's go back up one folder. So this file here, I'm going to copy this. And unfortunately, there is no installation routine. So often we're used to installing software where you choose install, click next and next, and you ignore the properties of what the installation details are. And when you're done, it's in the right place. Well, with Maven, they assume that since you're probably a software developer, that you know how to install software manually and set the path. But that's why you're watching this video, right? Is because you're not quite sure how to do it. So here's the process. We need to move this folder. So we're gonna copy it. And then we're going to, let's see, where's copy? We're gonna put this into a location of your choice. Now that's weird. It's nice to have a standard place to put your files. Well, uh, you get to pick where it is, and so I don't think there is a standard place that most people choose, so I'll give you a recommendation. Let's go to this PC, open up the C drive, and program files. And you can see, I've already pasted a project here, it's called Apache Maven. If I open that up, you can see the contents. So this is a good place to paste it. So just put it here alongside all of your other programs. So it's a program, right? Now you would think after you put it there, and you rerun this, you would get the solution. Not yet, didn't work. What you have to add now is called the path. So we're going to set the system environment variable. So I'm gonna type in env 
down in my search bar. And what I'm looking for is a control panel called Edit System Environment Variables. So ENV will get you there, or you can wander through the control panel, and either way you'll come to this control panel. Down at the bottom it says Environment Variables, so let's go there. Environment variables include something called a path. So your path variable allows you to run programs from the command line or from other programs without specifying exactly where it is on your computer. The path is kind of a search path. So you've got a path up here and you've got a path down here. This path is specific for the person that's logged in, so you can see it's got my name there. This path variable is for the system-wide settings, so every user will experience the path if you edit this one. So this one's more general. I'll use this one. If you don't have the edit button here, it means you're probably not logged in as an, in as an administrator, and you can probably just use this one up here. I'm going to edit this one. You can see that the path is showing locations of all kinds of software on my computer. So you can see I've installed Python, I have .NET, it looks like I did something with Node.js. Uh, this is GPG, which is an encryption library. So all of the other programs that you've installed are likely showing up here in the path. Well, I don't see anything about Maven, so let's go ahead and add a new item to the path, and you can see that there is a blank line. Now the easiest way to get this right is to click Browse, and then go Find Maven. So I'm going to the C drive, and then the program files, and then I'm going to open up the Maven folder, and then finally the bin. So that stands for binary, and that's where the compiled version of MVN is found. So to confirm that this is indeed the correct path, I'm going to go find the Maven command. So let's go back to the Explorer folders and look in Program Files, Apache Maven, the binary folder, and right here is MVN. So there are two types of commands in Windows. You can have a executable code, which is an EXE extension, or you have this is a command script, which is a CMD extension. And so this is indeed the one I'm looking for. So the path is the binary folder or the bin folder. I'm switching back to these variables and this looks like it's correct. So let's click OK and OK and OK. Now you'd think you're done. It's not done yet because if I try to check my version of MVN, it still doesn't work. What's missing is for that path to take effect. And so I have to restart the computer. All right, it looks like we're back. So let's uh, bring up our command prompt again, and let's see if we can try the MVN version. And this time you can see that the path variable has been done correctly. So it says you have version 399 of Maven. Now, since that's a system-wide uh, program that we can use, it should also work inside of my Visual Studio code. All right, so I ran the program. You can see Hello World is functioning. Now I'm going to try out my Maven Actions, which was the original problem that was uh, identified for this video. So you can see I've got Clean and Compile. Let's try the Clean action. And this time, since Maven is uh, on the path, the command that was executed, let's see if we can find it again, MVN Clean, and then all the rest of the extensions are listed there. And it says uh, it did its uh, work, so build success. Now, after you clean a project, uh, in my experience, you have to recompile it manually here with this button. And then you've got yourself uh, a build success, hopefully again. And then we're ready to run it. So here we go. We got build success. So most of the time when you're using Maven Actions, it's because you're trying to clean and recompile because something's wrong with the compiled version. So that's usually what Maven is helpful for in this case. Uh, there we go. We got Hello World. We got Maven installed. It's working well. Now, if you have another error like Java path not found, I'll leave you another video and uh, you can look at that in the description. Or if you've got another version uh, conflict, like sometimes uh, version 1.7 error pops up here. If you're using Java and VS Code, I've got that as well. So you get the idea that um, I'm making these videos for my students who are in software development. And if you find this helpful, make sure you subscribe and you can come to class with me and learn to be a software developer too. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.